Well, welcome back to another video, everybody. We're out here in North Idaho, way up north, and it's cold, it's really cold. And it took me forever to get everything set up. <laughs> uh, it's just the way it goes, I guess. So we're gonna put the hot tent to its test. The Russian bear tent did really well in the last video, so I figured I would take it out to some more extreme temperatures. It's already five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, the sun's going down. That was a beautiful sunset. Glad I was able to capture it. And now, what we're gonna do is head back to the tent and get it nice and toasty. Because it's cold, guys. It's really cold. Oh, man. Whew. Should have been wearing my mittens. It's just too hard to operate the uh, cameras with them. Oh, man. Oh. So this is a campground that we're staying at. And they've got a couple open sites. And this one's a beauty. I really like it. I'm gonna check the thermometer. Got it sitting outside right here. Oh, we're, we're at four degrees. Well, now that I touched it, five degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh, it's getting cold. All right, are you guys ready for this? We're fancy camping this time. Like really fancy camping. Check this out. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wow. We've got tons of wood. We've got our wood stove and our oven going. And I've got a chair and a lamp. How neat is that? I know it might be a little overkill, but... Oh, let's try that chair. Oh, that's nice. That feels really good. Oh. Oh. Feels good to sit down for a few minutes here. That was a lot of work getting everything set up. What do you think, kind of nice? How do you like my lamp? I whittled it out of wood. See that? It's nice and fancy. That's a joke, guys. It's just a joke. I'll show you how it's powered up here in a little bit. <sighs> I know some of you guys are gonna hate on this, and that's okay. Um, but there's so many different types of camping out there. Camp your camp is what I like to say. If you wanna bring a sofa out into the woods, by all means, do it. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, camp your camp. Um, I don't mind having the amenities and the fun things once in a while. Um, it's just an experience out in the woods. So however you want to do it, it's fine by me. I ain't going to judge you. So the temperature right now is 4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative 16 Celsius. Uh, that's outside. Right now it's saying it's 32 degrees inside, so zero Celsius. All right, let's get that fire started and toast it up in here. Here's my fire kit. You guys have seen this before. Um, I do have something new. It's a windproof lighter, I guess. Uh, it's actually kind of like an old type thing. Um, it's really neat, though. I haven't figured out how to use it quite yet. Like, what do I need to do to light something on fire? But basically, you just strike it. And it lights up. I guess if you had some tinder or something, you could really light it on fire with that. It's a really cool little thing. And then just uh, turn it off. You just pull it like that and it closes the air off. <laughs> kind of cool. I'll try it out another time. But for now, we're just going tumbleweeds and the trusty lighter. It's cold. Oh man, oh no, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. Oh yes, oh. One of you guys said in the last video that if you just stick it under your armpit or something for a little bit, heat her up. That'll get her going again. Yes, there we go. It's cold guys, it's cold. I got some cedar in here, little cedar strips. And I'm hoping we'll really 
really get going. Nothing like the smell of cedar. Now you might notice something different on the wood stove. I have the pipe coming out the front. Um, and the reason for that is just so I can have it in this configuration, I guess. The stove that actually comes with this tent from the manufacturer, it actually vents from the front so that the uh, stove can kind of sit back a little bit further. It's an interesting design, so I just wanted to see if it would work. And so far it seems to be working pretty good. Oh man, it's getting hot already, you guys. Up top, it looks like 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh man, I'm gonna have to open up some doors, I guess. I already shed my uh, coat. It won't be long and I'll be shedding my uh, sweatshirt. So we're looking at five degrees outside and 60 degrees on the inside down here, which it feels warmer than that. And that would be negative uh, 15 outside and 16 degrees on the inside. It's cooking. I like this tent. I told you guys last time that I liked it and I definitely like it, especially in these temperatures. We're supposed to get down to a low of like zero degrees. I think I told you that, but we'll see. It might go further um, just because we're closer to the lake. I'm not sure, but yeah, pretty sweet. <laughs> It's a hot tent for sure. All right, I'm hungry. Time for some dinner. We're gonna make up some french fries real quick. In the oven. Oops. All right, let's take a look at those fries. Oh, they're looking good. They still have a little bit longer, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it off and set the oven over there because I've got some other stuff to cook. So at least those are started.
Oh man, I've been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this. Look at that. French dip with some French fries. These look tasty. So I'm going right in. I'm just digging in guys. I'm hungry. They got a nice crunch to them. That oven did really well. All right, for that French dip. Look at that. <laughs> that thing's a Mondo. Right into the au jus. Oh, that's fantastic. That is super good. Little bit of onion and mushroom on there. Oh, and that roast beef with the provolone. Mm-hmm. That is tasty. That is my type of meal right there. Not super hard. Nothing uh, real too difficult at all. And it tastes fantastic. Oh man, that's good. That is what I needed. Well, you guys are probably wondering how I'm powering this lamp over here. <laughs> and you probably already know, it's a power supply. This is a Fantic Evo 300. Fantic sent it to me about five months ago, I want to say. But uh, I wasn't able to share it with you guys. So I've had it for quite a while. And I have been putting it through the ringer. And it's really nice. I mean, it works great. Uh, it's 300 watts um, of power. And it's got this really nice display on it, which I really like. Kind of just tells you the uh, battery percentage how many watts you're uh, outputting. You can also charge it at the same time that you are discharging it. So that's kind of a nice feature. This lamp right here is pulling 15 watts and it looks like I can have about 14 or 15 hours of runtime if I were to just leave this thing on, which is pretty cool. So I've been charging lots of things with this. Camera gear, drones, phones, I mean, there's just so many things you can do. It's got all types of plugins. It's got a couple of 110 outlet plugins, USB, USB C, some other plugs that I don't even know what they do. And then you have like a car charger outlet and also has this fancy light on the back LED light. Ah, ah. <laughs> One other cool thing is it's IP65, uh, so that's like water resistant and dust proof or something like that. So it can kind of take a, take a little bit of a beating, which is definitely good for me. <laughs> One of the really cool things that I thought about with this is that you could have like, if you have a CPAP machine or something like that, and you want to go camping, all you got to do is bring this along and you can use your machine. There's so many cool things you could probably do with this. You could even bring a TV watch some movies, play some video games out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Not that I'd ever do that. No. Oh, you're going down, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Take that. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 you want to taunt me? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One, two. Oh, okay. Yes, Daniel son. It's too far. It's just too old. Shadow. I knew he'd make it. I knew he'd make it. <laughs>
That's enough. That's good. Now you're getting it. Just slip the bat to the ring. All right, well, I've got my bed all made and uh, I'm ready for bed. It's getting late. It's 1045 in the evening and the temperature is negative two outside and it's 66 degrees in here, which is really comfortable. Negative 19 Celsius outside and 19 degrees Celsius inside. So that's nice and toasty, you guys. It feels really good in here. Um, I mean, it gets so warm that I've got to open up everything just to cool down or go outside. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This is definitely a good tent. I like it a lot. <sighs> yeah, yeah. What a long day. Very long day today. Uh, lots of shoveling and uh, setting up this tent. This stuff always takes a long time. Trying to film this and and uh, put things up. What should only take you a half an hour ends up being like two hours. <laughs> That's just the nature of it. Alright you guys. I'm going to hit the hay. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid Oh. oh, good morning, everybody. I got that fire started right away because it's it's cold. It's really cold. It's negative four Fahrenheit outside, which is negative 20 Celsius. Um, the indoor temperature, I think I came to understand that it only goes down to 32 degrees. So... It's definitely really cold in here. <laughs> I'm shivering a little bit now that I'm out of the bag. Oh. So it got down to negative six last night Fahrenheit, which is negative 21 degrees Celsius. That was the low. 
Oh. oh, I can feel the heat coming already. That's nice. Oh. I didn't sleep bad at all. Um, really comfortable in here. I've got two sleeping bags. That's what I did. I, I doubled up sleeping bags. And uh, that kept me nice and warm. Definitely was nice. I heard a ton of trees popping last night. There was just all over the place. It was really weird. Um, it's just strange to hear that. <laughs> so as the water freezes inside the, the tree trunk, it has no place to go but to explode sometimes. So that's what that's what I was hearing. Oh. Oh, man. It's time to get up and get some coffee, though. I'll start that coffee. Oh, one of my happier moments. <laughs> oh, it's hot. It's very hot, but it's tasty. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot how good that little coffee maker is. I need to use it more often. Really easy. Nice and simple. I like that. Oh, it makes a strong cup of coffee. A really strong one. <laughs> oh, that's going to perk me up today. It'll wake me up quick. Man, the yolk was frozen on that.
Lord, thank you so much for this food, and I just pray you'll bless it to my body. I thank you for this beautiful day, the sun, the snow, even the cold. Lord, I'm just thankful. Lord, I just pray for this world as there's some things going on right now that are just crazy. And I just pray that we will just trust in you and know that everything will be okay. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Look at that little toasty sandwich. <laughs> I, uh, I used uh, cinnamon raisin bread. Because I really like cinnamon raisin bread. And I figured making a sandwich out of it would be a good idea. So here we go. Oh, man. It was a good idea. A real good idea. <laughs> it's got the sweetness. The sausage had some really good flavor. And that cheese. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a really good combination. Really good. If you like raisins, give this bread a try. Because it's delicious. Well, since the sun's out, it is a perfect time to charge up the Fantic. Uh, they also sent me out this solar charger, and it's about 100 watts, I think. And it looks like I'm pulling 92 watts right now, which is really good. I love that feature too. Super cool, guys. So at this rate, it'll take 2.7 hours to fully charge. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of fishing to end the day. Ah, it's been beautiful, real beautiful. I don't know if I'll have any luck, just like last time. <laughs> Looks like this little section here is frozen. I better stop, I'm gonna scare the fish. That's like a rule, I think. <laughs>
Well, no luck on catching fish yet. It's a slow bite because it's really cold. <laughs> That's okay, there's still some sunlight. So that means there's still opportunity to catch a fish. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna just sit here, relax, enjoy myself, and see what the evening brings. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. This is what I call fancy fishing. Oh, oh. oh, thought I had one. You know, what would make this even better is the TV. <laughs> yeah.